We're rolling. Everybody's rolling. Okay. Hey everybody, it's Michael here with the lovely Evita. I'm gonna give the leaders five tips to make their dancing that much better. We're gonna start off with number one, which is no extraneous hand movements. When we first learn the dance, we get very excited and our hands are bopping around because we're just happy that we're moving. I don't want to kill your joy, but I will say as we get more advanced with our dancing, uh, each movement will start to mean something for a follow. So the louder or more noisy these hands are while we're dancing, the harder it is for follows to understand what we want. We'll see this most often in something like a pass, rock, step, trip, but this is your, that's your style hand. I know it because I used to have it as well. But this starts to really be confusing for follows. So leaders, we're gonna work on quieting this down and only using it or moving it when we need something to happen. Otherwise, it can stay nice and quiet. Love it. Boom, boom. We bring it down and right underneath us and nice and quiet. Beautiful. So tip number one, Quiet those hands. And speaking of hands, when I lead, I think about drawing the pathway for my partner when I lead them. So imagine that you have a giant pencil, and that pencil exists from our hand connection. So when I draw the line on the floor with where I want Evita to move, it becomes really clear from here a five, six, seven, and eight. I draw the line for Evita, I can change the hand connection, the pencil, around. There's a circle. From here, I draw the line. Again, right here, rock, draw the line that you would like your partner to follow, and that will be an easier way for them to understand your intention. So that's tip number two. Draw the line of the pathway you want your partners to move. Speaking of arms, look at the arm that isn't touching our partner, that free arm. We want to balance that out or give it some sort of shape or energy. So in a swing out, for example, in this open position, instead of just having a dead arm here, rock, then I lift it to catch a partner and then drop it immediately, I'm going to balance out my body by giving it some sort of shape. So it, you can make the choice as to how you'd like to style it. Do you want to make a nice long arm here for your rock step? Do you want to do a, a 90s style bowling arm? <laughs> Do you want to keep it close to your body like this? All of these choices are really nice, but again, it's giving this free arm something to do. In a, in a cross hand hold, for example, when I do this tuck turn, I want you to see that this free hand is still balancing my body. Rock a triple so that as I, as I open through the shoulders, Evita really feels rock a triple, a triple, and rock a triple balance the body so we're always giving the free arm something to do and you're gonna look more mo better, mo as, better as you do your dancing that's tip number three give your free arm something to do tip number four take that prep step this is really a great tip that I learned from Marcus Koch of all people back when I was a student years and years ago and in that class he told all of us while we were starting the dance to take a prep step on the count eight before it's time to move. So really, notice next time you're in class, if the teacher has, a, has you in an open position, instead of waiting for count one to start a swing out, for example, five, six, seven, eight, one, instead of waiting for that moment, take a prep step with the other foot. So leaders, that's your right foot. Five, six, seven, prep, rock, step, triple step, 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 triple step. If it's a rock step for both of us, five, six, seven, prep, rock step. You're ready to move before it's time to move and that's really a great way to be more rhythmic and a better lead in general. Take that prep step. Tip number five, I lead everything on the even beats. This one will melt your brain leaders, but I'm gonna think of my initiation for any movement on an even beat the two, the four, the six, or the eight, and then Evita, my partner, will be the result of that initiation on the subsequent odd beat, the one, the three, the five, or the seven. So if we're here in an open position and we do a swing out, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, a oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and eight. If you can incorporate that into your dancing, it will be so much clearer and rhythmically better, mo better, if I lead on the even beats so that Evita has enough time to respond on the next odd beat. So that's your five tips. One more time, in order, it was out of my brain. It was arms, it was arms, it was arms. One more time, in order, it is quiet this hand down so that you're not giving so much confusing chatter in your dancing. Point number two, I want the leaders to draw the pathway for their partners as to where they want the lead to be. Point number three, give this free hand a balanced shape so that it's not one-sided. Lift that arm, give it a shape to make. Point number four, take that prep step, especially in class when you're waiting to start a dance, Five, six, seven, prep, rock, step. That will get you going in plenty of time and it feels great as a lead. And finally, tip number five, when we're doing our dance, I lead everything on the even beats and Evita will be the subsequent odd beat response to my lead. I hope that helps you, good luck and have fun. Thanks Evita, you're great. We can kinda